Well, good morning and welcome to the OS training webinar series. This week we're looking at Gravity Forms, the newest course from Topher DeRosia at OS training. My name is Rod Martin. I'm your host for this morning. Just a couple of housekeeping things. Next week at 11 a.m. Eastern, we'll be joined by Mark Beneteau, the president of WordPressAcademy.com. He will be going over his new course called WooCommerce, probably one of the strongest e-commerce platforms for WordPress. Pretty excited about that. In the next few weeks, we'll be looking at advanced Joomla tutorials with our new intermediate class. All right, so today we're talking about advanced forms for WordPress websites that just don't get any easier than Gravity Forms. And that's really true. One of the things I really like about WordPress is the fact that pretty much everything in it is fairly straightforward. And these forms are easy to build, easy to use, and really look nice as you're building them. So we're going to dive in to the course from Topher this week on Gravity Forms. Here's the course page. We're not going to cover the things he covered. I want to cover three additional plugins today. Data persistence, which is one of the questions in the forums this week, images and HTML content, and the Gravity Forms toolbar. So those three additional plugins, data persistence, images in an HTML content, and Gravity Forms toolbar, which is actually pretty helpful. So let me switch over to my desktop really quickly. This is a basic WordPress installation uh, on my own local host. Sometimes that's just the easiest way to go. So I've installed the latest version of Gravity Forms. And once again, the basic version gets you not a lot of add-ons, but it certainly gives you all of the additional things you might need for a really good form. So the $39 version is the personal version. This is what I'm using today. You don't get AdWeber, Campaign Monitor. You don't get MailChimp integration. For that reason alone, I would probably go to the business version at $99. However, if you're going to do any e-commerce coupons, if you want FreshBooks integration, which I think is awesome, PayPal Standard, PayPal Pro, uh, polls, quizzing, signatures, surveys, user registration included. And again, I think that's really, really helpful. You're going to want to get the developer version. One of the things that people talk about WordPress plugins is that they get kind of expensive specifically versus uh, Joomla, of course, which is much cheaper, and Drupal, which are absolutely free. Uh, you can't buy a Drupal plugin or module, as they're called in Drupal. So WordPress economics are such that uh, a lot of these plugin developers are making pretty good money at $199 for a developer license. Now, that said, I usually always recommend the pro versions of anything I show or teach usually because it comes with much better support and obviously in this case a lot more features and in this case with gravity forms the developer license seems to make a lot of sense to me not only do you get all of those add-ons but with the developer license you get advanced form add-ons one and one year of priority support which again is really really helpful the advanced form add-ons which i just showed you are those additional business features that can be really helpful if you're using Gravity Forms for anything beyond some simple contact us kind of forms. That said, today we're looking at a Gravity Forms installation that is just the standard, the personal one. I've created a pretty simple contact us form, but I want to cover three add-on plugins for WordPress Gravity Forms. The first one is called data persistence. Now, this was a question in our forums this week, and that's why I'm covering it. This particular plugin is designed to allow Gravity Forms to save the information if somebody has started filling in the form and then has gone away and come back later, they can find their information still in the form. Now, the requirement is here that they need to be logged in users, and that pretty much makes sense anything less than requiring it to be a logged in user gets really crazy. Um, where do you store the data? Cookies, sessions, it's just really impossible to do that well. And so the authors of this plugin have decided that the bare bones minimum is you must be logged in. 
So if your site uses multi-page gravity forms, your user logs into the site, starts filling out, say, a five-step form. During the third step, they leave. This plugin says, well, you should still see your form data in there if you come back later. So a uh, couple of things here. It is not well rated. Uh, five stars, six people said, you know, five stars, four people said one star. There are some issues with this and uh, it's not the easiest plugin to use. So a couple of quick thing tips here. Uh, once you download this and install it, you actually make each form individually data persistent. And so that's important. And I'll show you that in just a moment. In the reviews section, you'll see that the latest reviews are pretty negative. Um, the guy who wrote this plugin doesn't give it a lot of support. Um, the developer is busy. Uh, he's working on a new version, apparently for the latest version of WordPress, because it doesn't tend to work in WordPress 3.8.1. Now that said, I was able to make it work this morning on a brand new installation of WordPress 3.8.1 and a brand new installation of Gravity Forms and a brand new installation of his plugin, though I had to apply a patch to make it work. Here in the checkbox to turn on enable form persistence, uh, that wasn't working. There is a fix here in the form. I did that this morning and that's what got it to work for me. Very simple to do to edit your plugin. Let's take a quick peek at it. I'm going to come over to my site and click plugins. I'm not going to show you how to install a plugin. I'm assuming by this point you know. Gravity Forms Persistence add on, click edit. And down here, there it is right there. So I added that code this morning and it seems to work. So let's go back over to our forms. Click on contact. Here's my simple contact us page. It's a two page form, uh, some HTML content. I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. First name's required, last name, comment, page break, and then just another field. In the settings, enable form persistence and enable multi-entry from the same user while form is persistent. I double checked, I checked both of those uh, and the form indeed seems to work. Let's go over to our site. I very simply created a contact us page and embedded the form in here and I'll talk about this image in just a little bit and you'll see that as I came back even my form that I started to fill out over two hours ago is still here with the data. If I click next and click another field and click submit thank you for contacting us we'll be in touch shortly and if I come back to contact us the information is persistently there. Let me open another browser. And if I click on contact us, you'll notice that even in this brand new browser, the information is still embedded for me. Now, realistically, we probably want that to clear after we've submitted the form. So there's still some bugs here. And indeed, uh, this is not a perfect solution. One of the things that I talked to Topher about this week was, gee, what is the solution here? Uh, Ninja Forms has this feature as, a, again, an add-on. Apparently, it does work. Uh, Topher will be doing a course on Ninja Forms coming up for us in a little bit. But that said, this does seem to work, at least here on my local host. Again, making sure that the settings are properly selected. So that's persistent, the persistent add-on. The next one I want to talk about is another plugin called Gravity Forms in HTML. Sometimes you want to be able to insert an image in that HTML area where you're explaining your form or just adding certain things to it. And this is another plugin that works really well. Gravity Forms image in HTML adds a button to the Gravity Forms editor HTML input field to insert or upload an image via the WordPress media uploader. So it grabs the WordPress media uploader and allows you to insert an image really easily into your form. So I'm going to go to forms, 
and I'm going to edit the contact us form. And you'll notice that this is just a simple HTML field, although it's not a field per se, it's just an area where you can put HTML content. So I put in here, thanks. Thanks for filling this out. Uh, let me delete that image and hit save. And you'll see that now that HTML is there with no image in it. Sometimes it's really easy and where it's really actually quite nice to be able to do that. So let's go back and add that image back in. So here's my HTML content. Click the little down triangle. And you'll notice there's an insert image button here. And that's it. all this plugin does. It adds this button that allows you to access your WordPress media library. Here's the image I uploaded earlier. This is a picture of my daughter who is a firefighter. And click update the form. And there's that image. So a pretty simple little plugin to do one thing, and it does it quite nicely and quite well. All right, the last plugin I want to show you today is the Gravity Forms toolbar. And the Gravity Forms toolbar is exactly what it sounds like. It's a toolbar if you use Gravity Forms a lot. If you have a lot of forms and they're pretty busy, this is actually a pretty helpful little toolbar that you might want to consider using. It has really good ratings, uh, it's up to date, and it works nicely. Once you install that plugin, it adds this Gravity Forms link into your toolbar area and allows you to take a look at all of your Gravity Forms issues. You can remove, add and remove different things from your toolbar and get rid of the help and documentation, things like that, the notifications and the form details. You can eliminate it from the front end. Uh, and all of so all of that is easily done. You can manage the Gravity Forms widgets just by clicking here. And really all that does is just takes us over to the Gravity Forms, or the, sorry, the WordPress widgets area it doesn't actually add a widget for the Gravity Forms toolbar. You can view your entries. You can export. And again, these are just links to the variety, various areas in Gravity Forms. You can check for an update. And then you've got all of the quick links to documentation that you might need. If you have a lot of forms, this little area is going to get pretty busy. But again, it's just a nice, quick toolbar to get you around your Gravity Forms. If you use them a lot, it's something you might want to consider. All right. Well, that's our add-on for Gravity Forms for today. I trust that's been helpful. WooCommerce for WordPress with Mark Benito next week at 11 a.m. Eastern. He is the CEO at WordPressAcademy.com, and I'd encourage you to check it out. Thanks for coming today. Appreciate you being here. Have a great day.